I wasn't gonna do a video, but I have to. This is really bad. So this is Romex cable. This is hard wire cable. Can't use that on a boat. It's gotta be stranded wire. So we got asked to pull out, um, we got asked to rewire. I'm doing this freely just for insurance purposes. <laughs> I mean, this is really bad. You can see how many breakers that they've gone through. Um, I've already pulled a couple wires out of this box. That used to be a wire nut. It's melted. I stuffed a couple wires through there, that one of that Romex. I've got two more here that I've got sourced that we've got to find and get rid of. You can see that all of this has been burned and melted. This was literally a fire. And we've got black to green to green to black. There's more red to white to black to green back to red down in the engine room. So it is a menagerie cornucopia. And then here's the breaker. And as you can see, this is also just completely scorched and melted. And then it was crossed over like this. And look at your green sides, which by the way, are the other leg of the hot. So here's your, the red is your lead coming in from your switching box here. And then your two, <laughs> two greens are guess, I'm thinking, are going out to the two air conditioners. But you go green to black here, and then black, black here. And then that goes out. So really dangerous. Um, so we're gonna rewire this. I'm gonna put in a new breaker panel tomorrow. Um, it's coming, but we're, we're just wiring it right now with new proper cable. They're 110 units um, with a new breaker system. And then, so the switching, uh, the power from the switching will come down to the main breaker. And then from the main breaker, it'll feed off into the other two legs. Remember the other day we were talking about double tapping? Well, that's, that's double tapped and that's what happens. It scorches it. So this whole thing is garbage. And uh, wire nuts can't be using just, I mean, look, just electrical tape. I mean, I don't even want to touch this stuff. So we've shut the entire boat off right now um, to work on this because I don't trust anything coming off of here. So that's what we got going on. Um, Matt's going to wire up uh, as soon as he cools off. We have an extension cord going outside, but there is no power on the boat. Um, as soon as he cools off, he's going to wire the two ACs up there and then we'll be ready for the new panel tomorrow morning and we'll get rid of all these breakers and junk and everything else so wasn't going to do a video quick video for today um that's it we're going to unscrew a lot of this stuff and pull all the wires back and get rid of it all right matt's down just finishing up wiring up there we have our new box i got my positive and my negative connected to it. Um, we don't have a neutral on this boat. I only have, as you can see, a positive and negative coming in. Um, so theoretically, you know, they tie the grounds with the neutrals. It's a very common thing to do. Um, I don't particularly like to do it. In home, you definitely don't really do it. Again, back to like that double tapping and, and you, the grounds and neutrals should be separated on boats sometimes, especially on older boats. When you really have these two wires, the grounds and the neutrals are connected. Um, so I may just jump from here to here, which will connect these two bus bars. And then my black wire will go to uh, my ground bus, which is right in here. And this is attached to all that grounding stuff. <sighs> Not exactly the way I want to do it, but we're getting closer. We're cleaning it out. I've verified that this is my ground. That's my positive. My switch is over here. That's my positive side over there, which is where the big wire is going to go. Um, I've got my two cables coming up. Now i got to figure out where I'm going to put that. I was going to build a cabinet right here, but I think what I'm going to do is cut a hole right here. And that way I'll be able to fish all these wires out of here that I don't want anymore, fish these wires up behind the wall and then be able to tie up into here as well. So everything will be back um, behind this wall. Um, 
So I'm gonna drill a pilot hole right now just to test that, see how deep this is, and then um, hopefully go from there. But Matt's almost done there, so it's really just trying to figure out, and it's, this takes time to try and figure out, you know, where I'm gonna put everything and how everything's gonna work. You just gotta think it all out. It's new, it's gonna be here for the next 30 years. So um, that's what I'm doing right now. Keep you posted. Okay, Matt's nice and tight in there. I'm nice and tight in here. Okay, we gotta open this door back up. Oh, ah. oh God. Okay. Okay. Thanks for weaseling through with me. Now we're all here. Okay. So just in case the other one didn't videotape, I put a big hole right through there and uh, hogged it out. And um, wow, I see the hole. Yeah. Nice. Cool. So now we just got to grab these two wires because we were going to come up here, but I got a new plan. Again, as I was saying, sometimes it's a, it's a, just a lot of thinking. You got to figure out how you're going to do everything. Um, can you find the wires, Matt? Can you just grab them? I'm trying to. Yeah, I think you got them. All right, hold on. Yes. Both? All right. All right, pull them through. And then we're going to pull them right through here. Come up to the bottom. There's one. There's two. So these right here are our lines that are going to our two AC units. Now i got to drill a hole. Well, we've already got a hole here. And I gotta go from, oh, I gotta drill another hole from here to here. So, gotta do that next. And then my supply lines will come from here and the ground down. And then we should be, should be pretty good. Got a plan. We're working on it. And I'm, and I'm gonna try and get the rest of these lines out of here that don't do a thing. Um, so there's no way somebody can rewire this for more stuff if they have to they have to like physically do it properly which this boat is a mess so okay we're going to continue on and see if we can't get this job rounded up okay so matt's doing all the butt connectors oh what were they supposed to be butt connectors or rings i'm hot matt's doing all the ring terminals oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I just got these off that's what happens when you actually say what it really is and what it really isn't, and he's paying attention because <laughs> butt connectors are not the right things. Ring terminals, so we can put them onto the breakers themselves. So he's doing both of these. I've left it plenty long for us to gain access to it, plus he can work up there and I can still work down here. So I drilled another little access panel here and I was able to fish my wires through. So this is my positive and my negative, which will go to my panel, which comes here. And here's my two lines for the AC system. Uh, I used duct tape, blue, and held that up. So now I'm gonna bring that back down and fish these two wires back into the box. Everything will be concealed in the chases, and then we've just gotta finish wiring this up and put this back on the wall and do a bunch of other stuff and then run. All right, so we're getting close. I got this mounted back on the wall. I've got my power coming, well, my power coming in, switched over to this side, and then this goes down here to where my other breaker is gonna be, and that's my ground. My ground comes up to my bus bar here, and uh, then this is tied to here, which goes into my galvanic corrosion system, and then back around, and then wherever it's supposed to go. And like I said, unfortunately, because we only have uh, hot and ground, I've got to tie my neutral to my ground bar and jump them. I don't want to do it, but that's the only two wires we got on the boat. And old school, that's the way they used to do it. The grounds and neutrals were tied together. So I'm going to close this up here and mount it on the wall. Notice that there's no more wires hanging out. Everything's nice and clean. Only thing that's getting used is what's functional and um, what, what we need. So going to close this up and be done with this. Matt's finishing just wiring the the loads and um, yeah. He's messing it up pretty good. No, not. <laughs> Lots of little wires. And then we'll turn it on. I have like zero faith this is going to work properly. I, I know we're going to trip a breaker or, or something because this is just... Matt, what do you think? It's going to go swimming. <laughs> I don't think so. There's not going to be a single issue. Oh, my God. He's lying. He's lying. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to get it put in. What, well, Matt, what do we got? Hold air. Okay, so everything's buttoned up. 
we turned yeah thank you we turned the power on outside nothing tripped it gave me watts then I turned this over to here which is our power nothing tripped then I came down here I turned our AC power on here nothing tripped so I knew at that point that all of my wiring was good so it was either mat or the air conditioning. I just turned on this air conditioning and it fired up and ran and it's running now. So I've got one left. We're gonna turn that on and see what happens there. And it should work and we should be in good shape. So we'll see what happens. I think Matt's up there checking for, for water flow. Which now this one I didn't turn on uh, because this has the pump with the plug on it. So we're not quite sure how this one's actually gonna work. So I'm gonna turn this one on and see what happens. There we go. Both on. They didn't trip. I can touch this and not get electrocuted. That's amazing. All right, Matt, I just turned the second one on. It didn't trip. Can you check that? There's no water going, so it's going to high pressure. Okay, it's gonna high pressure. So we'll just shut that off. Remember that pump doesn't work. Ah, okay. Cool, well, we're done here unless he wants us to wire up another pump, buy another pump. In which case, that's a whole nother job, but we are good. Look at the smoke on that. That's smoke, that's not, that black stuff is literally smoke. Wow, just crazy. So this stuff is all cleaned up. We're good on our end. The rest of the AC on this boat is a train wreck. Um, but uh, we're clean, done, and we're going to get out of here. Job done. So that's how you wire a new AC panel right there and air conditioning. Not bad. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Right, Ring Matt? that notification bell. Yay! That's what all the YouTubers say. Right? I know, right? All right, cool. Well, God, thanks for watching, guys. Um, again, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Again, a little different because we don't have a neutral, so that, that neutral bus got tied to the, to the ground bus. But that's just the way it is. So we're out of here.